The latest now on a deadly shooting. Do you recognize anyone on that motorcycle? Tucson police say they are suspects in a road rage incident. It happened Monday afternoon just before 430 near Dodge and Monta Vista Drive. Police say 21 year old Savannah Narcarodi was killed when the car she was riding in was shot at from the motorcycle. There was some kind of a road rage incident involving the victim's vehicle and another vehicle, specifically a motorcycle um, with two uh, riders on that motorcycle. That road rage incident started somewhere in that area, in the Midtown area. This is the second deadly road rage incident in less than a week. Tucson police are asking the public to call 911 or 88 crime. If they have any information, remember you can remain anonymous. And authorities across the state are seeing an alarming increasing trend in road rage incidents. News 4 Tucson's Angelique Lazardi has more on why these incidents keep happening. The Arizona Governor's Office of Highway Safety says the amount of road rages have increased significantly in just the past three years. We also spoke with one victim of a road rage incident who says he learned his lesson the hard way. Road rage happens because people are in a hurry. You know, my answer is, what's the hurry? You know, you lost three minutes of your time. Imagine that. Okay. Authorities are seeing road rage incidents rising in Arizona. Just last week, News 4 Tucson reported a road rage incident near Craycroft and I-10, leaving one man dead. And just last night, a woman lost her life due to a road rage incident in Midtown. The Arizona Governor's Office of Highway Safety released its recent road rage reports. In 2019, there were 520 reported incidents. 2020, 503 reported incidents. And this year so far, there have been a total of 460. Sometimes other reasons can lead to scary situations like Richards, who was a victim of road rage earlier this week over an offensive bumper sticker. And I just repeated what the message on the back of his truck said back to him, and uh, that was enough to make him decide he needed to get out of my truck, get out of his truck, and slap a sticker on the front of my car on my windshield and smash my windshield. Richard tells News 4 Tucson it left him pretty shaken up and has this message for other drivers can't afford to have something happen to me and you know it's it's just not worth it um you know and i just kind of wish everybody would calm down a little bit ignore it okay let them do their thing you know they they cut you off no signals no gestures let it go okay and you see that it's continuing get off the freeway get off the road go to a gas station now Richard says police still have not found the person who damaged his car. If you have any information at all regarding that incident, you are urged to call 88 Crime. Just near the I-10, I'm Angelique Lazardi, News 4 Tucson.